dawn beneath the ancient Acropolis and Maria Polizu is about to set out on an epic run, one that no woman has ever achieved. She plans to run from here all the way to the town of Sparta and on to Marathon, 540 kilometers in all. I've never run further than a normal marathon in my life, but I believe you need to have great visions and goals in life. This will drive you on to achieve incredible tasks. She's following in the footsteps of an ancient legend, Pheidippides, who's said to have run this route to raise support for Athens against the approaching Persian army. At the end of his run, he collapsed and died, a story strong on myth, perhaps weak on historical detail, but nobody disputes the significance of the Battle of Marathon. The Battle of Marathon was important because if the Persians had won, had installed their puppet on the, in the government of Athens, democracy would not have come to flower, and everything that comes from the flowering of Athens in the fifth century, namely Western civilization, would have been completely different than it is today. Two days into the run, and we catch up with Maria in the hills of the Peloponnese. She's making slow progress, and her spirits are low. Her knees are troubling her. But at least the landscape is inspiring, full of ruins, myths, and legends. Maria has set off on her epic journey at the worst possible time of year, in the middle of summer. Her problem is that historians can't agree when the Battle of Marathon took place, although most believe it was roughly at this time of year, when the summer sun is really beating down here in southern Greece. A whole week has passed, and an ancient guard of honour in Marathon, as Maria finally completes her journey. No wonder she's overcome. She's run 70 kilometers per day for eight days in a row. There isn't a single part of my body that does not hurt. Only my mind and soul stayed strong. I discovered the infinite strength of the soul. Then she pays homage at the tomb of warriors who died two and a half thousand years ago, but who still inspire heroics today. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Marathon.